Hello, this is Jonathan Landeros with Kativ Technologies, and in this week's video I'm going to talk about some tricks you can use with the Augmented Reality plugin for Autodesk Showcase 2013. If you're not familiar with the Augmented Reality plugin, you can download it and find instructions on how to set it up from labs.autodesk.com and look up the Augmented Reality plugin for Autodesk Showcase. And before I get to that good stuff, a special thank you to David Gate, Scott Moyce, and Clint Brown. It was from a discussion among these fine gentlemen that I was inspired to come up with this post. I couldn't have done it without you, and thank you for your input. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at that AR plugin. Here is the AR plugin in action. I'm holding a marker in my hand, and Showcase is taking that marker, the webcam image, and my scene and combining it so it looks like I'm holding the model in my hand. I'm even using a 2D image to make it look like the 3D image is growing out of it. It's all virtual, it's all in the computer. Now the lab's website tells you to print out the marker, and you can do that, it works great. But if you want to save a little paper, why not use your mobile device? I'm using an iPad, but you could use an Android or something similar. That's one of the tips you can take advantage of. Now if you delve into the AR plugin, you'll find you can create your own markers. So you might wonder, why didn't I use this 2D image of the engine as my marker? Well, I tried, and I didn't have a lot of luck. The markers seemed to have a hard time lining up, the model wanted to jump around in ways I couldn't predict or it shouldn't have, and I suspect that was because the marker didn't have enough detail or contrast to be picked up by my camera. I don't really know for sure. But with a little help from my friends and a little ingenuity, I still found a way that you can make this work really well. The first step in my trick was to take my engine, which is now at its starting point, use the top view, and switch to my white room environment. Next, I went to my appearance, to directional light and shadows, and told Showcase that none of my objects were going to cast shadows. Once I did that, I went ahead and published the image out as just a JPEG file. Next, I go into my material library and create a decal using the image I just exported. Now, I apply that to a rectangular solid that I created and imported into Showcase as a floor. With a little bit of scaling and maneuvering, I can go ahead and place it right under the 3D model inside of my scene. Now I've got that floor ready to go. Now it's just a matter of setting up my markers per the instructions for the Augmented Reality plugin. Now I can go ahead and switch to the environment I want. Make sure you use the infinite background as these are the ones that work with the plugin. I can go ahead and set up my marker. And once that's all done, you can go ahead and enable the AR plugin, and you're ready to go. So that's it, a couple of tricks with the AR plugin, and a little bit of look at the workflow. I hope you find this helpful, and go ahead and check out that AR plugin. There's a lot of things you can do with the augmented reality. That's it for this video. Thanks for taking the time to watch, and thanks for all those who contributed to this particular post.